<laughs> big, big news. And this is actually my awesome thing of the week for you, Sorg. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I'm I'm kind of partial to PlayStation myself mm-hmm. uh, this this time around, but this is really big news for people who have the Xbox and and stuff like that. Uh, Microsoft bought out Bethesda. Wow! Now I know I don't know if people know Bethesda that, oh, are, that are, I'll, necessarily. I, <clears throat> I'll shoot out some games here. Uh huh. Uh, we got Doom. Mm-hmm. We got Fallout, Skyrim. Uh, what else we got? Because there's a lot more. Dishonored is on there as well. Rage. Uh, Rage. Yeah, the, all those games are now play, uh, PlayStation, uh, Microsoft exclusive. So you'll see them on plate on your Xbox as well as PC. Hmm. Because you know, PC and Microsoft are like you know like like that uh and they were asked early on about their previous connections with uh with playstation as well so like the two games that they they mentioned were uh ghostwire tokyo which i've watched i've watched a uh a story about that as well and uh a a, a trailer for about that and it looks really good Mm -hmm. and i haven't heard death loop yet so but those ps5 exclusive games are still coming to playstation okay and still exclusive to playstation yeah they're they're gonna honor nothing good yeah they're they're gonna honor those commitments as Mm -hmm. well as honor uh t uh elder scrolls online eso it just wild to me and we're reminded of some of the other brands but you know uh, you mentioned doom id software you know that's something really big in my in my you know growing into a pc gamer uh, uh oh yeah the they, they, they're also making a uh, indiana jones game indiana jones they got wow yeah, so so but but still and zenimax is the is the parent company i believe of bethesda mm-hmm. that they actually purchased that included the rest of it but bethesda was the obviously the key thing um, we're talking about Wolfenstein, Doom, uh, yeah, I forgot Quake, yeah. right? All that, all that John Carmack stuff. Of course, John Carmack left to go build rockets, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, uh, y- 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 that, that, like Microsoft owns that now. Yeah. <laughs> Commander That's Keen. Microsoft. Microsoft owns Commander Keen. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, all those brands there under that, that, that id software, you know, Quake, you know, things like that. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. One thing I didn't know mm. until reading the story is how much, how many one uh, first party studios Microsoft has now. Oh, they, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, I it thought, is. I thought PlayStation was like the king of all, like, Sony had the market on the first parties. Oh, micro, Microsoft's been Microsoft collecting. Microsoft is them. 23. 23 first party studios. What out of it? Sony's 13. And, and what does Nintendo have? Like five? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, N- I, N- Nintendo's out there just picking and choosing. Yeah. Like different. Nintendo's fine. Well, I remember. Now, honestly, Nintendo's fine right now. I remember when, when Nintendo started announcing studios for, like, hey, such and such studio is going to work on Star Fox and this one's going to work on the new Metroid Pine games in the GameCube era. Like, that was a big deal because that didn't mm-hmm. happen a lot you know almost everything nintendo said r&d studio and a number uh so it, it'll be interesting to see yeah so though my uh microsoft is poised i i i you know i mean we, this can be a, this can be a console debate on uh, between you and me Riz, but uh, uh I, I i've not doubted microsoft's resolve in being the best damn video game platform you know, it, it's close. Yeah, I mean, obviously they had missteps at the beginning of the this last generation, focusing on entertainment that that soured a lot of people. But mm-hmm. and the Connect thing and everything like that. But man, it, you know, just and, and this is a play for Game Pass because mm-hmm. you know what you're going to get on there. You're going to get all your dooms. You're going to get all these. You're going to get Fallout. I mean, these have already been a part of Game Pass for a while. But that is that is their big play. Is your I'm, we're going to get your fifteen dollars a month. Pretty you much, know, yeah. and which has been beneficial, because uh, I I was wondering about like, well, what does the um, you don't have to worry if it's in, <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about if it's their own studio, they can just do that, right? right? 
um, they can just decide Gears of War is coming to Game Pass day and date with the release. So pay sixty dollars, seventy dollars, or start your free month of Game Pass to play this brand new triple <laughs> A quality game that's ridiculous. And trust me, I've just blown through most of the Gears of War series in the last couple of months. It, that series is phenomenal. Um mm. No, this is this is a big crazy play, and I'll and be interested to see how it works out. I think out. every every time that we bring up a console war discussion, uh, you bring out that even if you don't have an Xbox, mm -hmm. you can still have the Game Pass. Yes, which I have, by the way. What's that? Which I still don't have, by the way. You should. You should. You got a good. You got a good PC game playing thing, right? I do have good PC game plan. Like, listen, here. listen, man. If I, I I've been trying to figure, um, I've been trying to uh, uh, scooch some some um, uh, space aside in my MacBook to install Windows and at least a couple of those games because I'm starting to get to that point where I have an original Xbox One and there's like newer Xbox games for Series X that will not install my Xbox anymore, but they mm -hmm. will on a PC. Mm -hmm. So you can be like, well, I guess I need to figure out what I can do. That's not a studio appliance here. So, um, but uh, yeah, no, it, it's it's been it's been interesting uh, for for that. So. Uh